Hey guys, Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter. This is your basic Sorgonomics for the day. Your daily dose. Oh, daily. Four days a week. Hey, you know what? If the daily show can be four days a week, I think we can swing it too, right? Uh, and hopefully that'll change in the near future. But anyways, I want to talk social media. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter. Check us out at Sorgatron.com. We'll have some information very soon. Our next webinar is going to be based on Insta content. Snapchat and not Pinterest, uh, <laughs> Periscope and, and the like making content right now. And uh, today's topic is actually going to be about making uh, making content when you can make content, make content when it's happening. Uh, so I was uh, had the fortune to be on into Pittsburgh uh, being filmed yesterday. You may have saw the pictures, all that green going on with Christopher Whitlatch uh, on, uh, on on my Instagrams and on, on me on other social medias this, this past Thursday. And uh, we had a, well, one we were discussing uh, because it finally released as of this recording, uh, a lot of videos that I was working on as part of a campaign called PA, PA People Count dot org, I believe it is. Um, and uh, it, it, we're talking about advocacy basically with social media. We had a few tiers of, of, of ideas out of it. And I wanted to share a, a part of that with you right now that it really, I think, applies to a lot of people. And I, I really kind of. And I might have gotten into this before, but I really think when it comes to social media, yeah, there's, 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 you know, guys like me that that are working on the campaign, and yeah, I sit down and and, and spend the time on it, and maybe you have somebody that does, and in your, you do, you know, maybe there's a one role that was good about like sit down one hour every week, do all your social media scheduling and everything for your company, right? And of course, for me, I have several companies and properties and podcasts, so it gets a little extensive. Um. So that is important, and depending on what you're doing, you know, a necessity uh, to do that to make sure there's activity going on, make sure your message is getting out there, even though you're not sitting at a computer on your phone thinking about that message for your whatever. And we're talking companies, nonprofits, podcasts, blogs, just being on Twitter in general. But I think, and this also really applies, I think, to, to the personal people that just want to kind of get into social media, dip their toe um, um, on a on a hobbyist nature, I guess it is. Um, and it's a really kind of learning to integrate uh, social media into your life. That sounds like, well, you know, that sounds, well, why would I want to do that if it's not so far? Well, if you want to be part of it, then you you want to be part of it. Anytime I, I get a new service, I have to figure out like, okay, what's the easiest way for me to make sure I'm regularly on this thing? And usually that's putting an icon on the front of my iPhone home screen, uh, somewhere I want to see it, somewhere I'm going to notice it. And, 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 and when I go through my app, say, oh, hey, okay, yeah, yeah, let's check this out. I've been recently doing that with Reddit, trying to figure out how does this fit into my life, right? And, uh, and, and Twitter is, I think, the easiest thing. Facebook can be too, but uh, you know that thing just happened. And maybe you know, uh, you know, th- th- this thing just happened. I should tweet about it. You know, I need to let people know this is happening. Um, kind of a, in my mind, kind of a journalistic kind of uh, um, mindset. You know, being able to look at something and say, "Oh, I need to share this." You know, and not everybody's going to be able to do this. But as long as you have one person in your organization that is kind of the person that does that, uh, you're, you're doing okay. If you have multiple people in your organization that are sharing, that's tremendous too. And you maybe you give them access to the Twitter account and, uh, and and they all kind of share their perspective, not their perspective, but what they're able to see and think of from their perspective of how to represent. Because really what, what you need to do is when you're a company or a nonprofit is relay the personality of the people working there, the importance of the job you're doing, if that's the case, the the day-to-day, a little bit of the behind the scenes, and that's going to get people's attention, I think. Or at least, you know, if they're already interested a little bit in you, learn a little bit more about it, connect with you. And I think that's, you know, I, I see so many companies and nonprofits just going in and, and saying, oh, hey, check this. Oh, hey, oh, you know, hey, we're doing this. Hey, hey, give us money. And there's nothing else on their social media. And um, y- y- you need to personalize it a bit more, right? Um, I mean, I have clients that I go in and work once a week and I schedule out the rest of the week. I- I'm just not able to. They, they, they don't have me coming in the rest of the week to really kind of connect with the rest of the, the, the staff and see what's going on from day to day. 
But then again, you know, how much can you share? Because we're we're dealing with clients that, that have a confidentiality issue. It gets it gets it gets, it gets sketchy in healthcare. But there are plenty of like little things that happen around the office. Like one day they found a snake and they brought they, and they captured it and and they brought it in and 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 doing that whole thing. One day there was a ferret that was uh, knocking on the back window that apparently escaped from somebody's house. You know, I mean, just just these like moments of things like that. Uh, the, you know, one staff member brought her dog in uh, to, to show the group, you know, uh, a ho- brought a horse in one time, you know, they do, they're dealing with therapy horses, just some great visual stuff. And if that just gets captured and talked about, everybody has a f- camera phone, you know, at the, at this point, no matter what your quality is, even if it's not the best Android phone, uh, you know, you can still take pictures. It's better than nothing. Start with something. Um, you know, I, I love using the quote because because I w- I didn't have the balls to say it, but it doesn't matter which which microphone you're using in podcasting. Start podcasting, and then go from there. Uh, it doesn't matter what you have. The camera you have on you is the important one because it's the one that can take that picture and convey that message now. And you know, kind of just having the mindset. So, so then then you know you're you know after something happens, sitting there sending a tweet out and doing that periodically naturally then it doesn't become such a slog and a chore. And, oh, I got I to gotta do the Twitter thing, you know. And, and I got to sit down and do my Twitter thing. It's not like I got to sit down and do my email, you know. It's, 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 it shouldn't have to be in order to do something like this. It, it should be like, you know, how am I, oh, you know, what are people doing on Twitter and Facebook just personally? Look at those. Um, oh, my job, blah, blah, blah. Oh, this is a great thing happened today. Oh, look at the picture of my food. It, those kinds of people have already kind of integrated it, you know, into their lives at that point. And you have to figure out how to do that for your business, your nonprofit, your campaign, your advocacy, your podcast, whatever the case may be. You know, um, I, I kind of learned to extend. So for me, uh, of course, for and hopefully that means that your 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 day job and everything is something you're passionate about. I hope so. That's going to be the that's that's going to make this so easy for you. To be quite honest, um, because for me the things that I work with, I, I sit there and I have all the, all the Twitter accounts and it's like, oh hey, wrestling news came up, or hey this 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 came up, or conversation came up, or this thought came up about wrestling because I think about wrestling a lot. Yes, yeah, let's be honest about it. And I, I flip over to the account and I, and I and I share something. Maybe it's a gif I, I happened across. Maybe it's a story I happened across. Maybe it's a conversation we happened across or had in person. With technology, I try to talk about it a little bit on my own account, but I flip over to the awesome cast and do that. I, I see something interesting about yoga or mindfulness. I make sure to tag that to to send over to my healthcare clients. You know, I, I, it's kind of an always on thing. Um, and unfortunately, it's not something I can charge hourly for uh, for something like that. But it, it, it helps the entire package. And again, if you believe in what that package is uh, and that message is, um, you're going to be more than willing to, to do that. Right. Uh, which leads to a lot of other kind of company culture, et cetera, kind of ideas. If you're not into it that much, then you got a little more work to do to get that accomplished. And it's probably not going to work out, to be quite honest. Um, but there's some ideas. So integrate your Twitter, integrate your social media, whatever platform that you guys picked. And again, you don't have to be everywhere. Don't. And, and again, Twitter is probably the best for, like right now, quick things uh, to, to happen. And, and you could, I caution, be very careful and be mindful of what you're tweeting. You could link that to your, your Facebook account, page, whatever. Um, that's how I have any activity sometimes on my Facebook. But unfortunately, sometimes they get weird because I'm writing stuff for Twitter and it looks kind of weird if you're pushing it to Facebook. So be wary of that. And um, and I hope that helped you guys out. Let me know. Um, is it something you've thought about? Are, are you using any interesting methods to integrate uh, whatever it is that you're trying to get out there on social media into your life already? Like what kind of tactics are you using? You know, more than just schedulers and such. Let me know at Sorgatron on the Twitters. You hit me on the contact page over at SorgatronMedia.com. Uh, and Sorgatron.com, uh, both those sites, actually, you can hit up the newsletter. And uh, actually, it's Friday, which means there's a newsletter going out. And I'll have a write-up. And uh, some of the, my favorite stuff from the week in there. Please go check it out. I'll sign up right away so you don't miss it or pop back into the archives. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, I appreciate every one of you guys uh, checking out the show. 
and uh, giving me feedback on this kind of stuff. And and, and, and uh, it's going to be a wild ride here, I think, in the next couple months if some of the stuff comes to pass that we're working on here. Thank you so much. We'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.